Currently on 2B22, there are over 300 documented mutes. Players either cannot send messages in public chat, some can't send messages in private chat, and some can't even talk through server chat at all. These punishments are often given to those who spam or are toxic in chat. However, there are growing cases of players being muted for unknown reasons, which is leaving the community confused. Today in this video, you'll learn the origins of muting, why players are being muted, and the issues with the current muting system. In late January 2014, the players ZarVR, Kina Rena, and Jack the Ripper broke all the end portals at spawn when only three existed. A player named PopBob saw them do this and informed the owner of 2B2 T, Housemaster, about the portal's destruction. Soon, the group had a mad Housemaster on the console, demanding to know how they did it, and muted Jack the Ripper for a few minutes. This would be one of the first documented mutes in the server's history. One day, a player named Victor96 was spamming in chat and getting his messages filtered left and right. Housemaster happened to be online through the server's console and saw his messages. Victor96 and Housemaster would have a conversation. Housemaster eventually got annoyed and muted Vic for an hour. The issues started to appear sometime in late 2019 to mid-2020, when popular chatbots like LOL Ritterbot were muted as they responded to commands in global chat. In response, the chatbots switched to communicating via whispers, but even this solution proved short-lived as they were eventually silenced. Around this time, players were also muted for using the announcer slash spammer module to advertise. This eventually made players aware that their mutes were separated into categories. If you cannot send chat messages, this is known as a soft mute. If you cannot send private messages with commands like slash msg slash whisper or any commands that allow you to send private messages, this is known as a PM mute. If you cannot communicate through server chat at all, you're hard muted. The first documented list of the mutes started on May 25th, 2021 in the Two Builders 12 Rules Discord. At first, the list consisted of 7 players who were well-known spammers and had Minecraft usernames that were toxic. Around a month later, on June 20th, the list grew to 44 players. On December 28th, the list grew to 120. A few months later, on May 13th, 2022, the list grew to 225. And as of making this video, the last documented mute list was on December 8th, 2022, with a total of 359 mutes. It's important to note that this list is player contributed and there are likely far more muted players than 359. Now, most people would say that these mutes are justified. Most muted players either spam chat for no reason, promoted their discord, or said offensive things in chat. However, where do we call the line where there is too much moderation? After all, 2B2T is considered to be an anarchy server. There's also some major problems with Housemaster's muting system. First of all, muting is entirely random. Two players can do the same thing. One may be muted for a week, while the other player's mute is a month. Mutes are time-based, but no one knows for how long until a player is unmuted. Many players have been muted for longer than a year and have no idea when it could expire. We know that unmutes are automated from an email on May 26, 2020, when a player named Zero Neb asked Housemaster to unmute him. House responded, the mute removal is automated, you will just have to wait until it expires. Sorry. So if they are automated, why not just have a plug and tell a player how long they're muted for? This would at least give muted players a time frame and solve a lot of confusion. Even servers like Mindplex, which lack communication, provide a time frame and reason for how long players are muted. Secondly, there needs to be more communication regarding the reasoning for mutes. Again, players are randomly muted and are not given a reason, which leads to them guessing what they did wrong. Obviously, if you are spamming and then get muted, then you would assume you were muted for spamming, but there are cases where players are muted and have no clue why they were. For example, players in the motorway extension gurus who pave highways have group members being muted who don't talk in chat or have never chatted before. Players like 4 Second, known for hosting Fight Club, building lag machines, and participating in events like No Server November, have emailed Housemaster but never received a response. Players like Negative Entropy, a member of the Spawn Masons, have been getting muted for no apparent reason and usually get a response quickly to resolve issues. 
I believe the mute system is not automated, but manually monitored. Housemaster is no longer a singular person, rather a group of people. This is evident in how Housemaster says we in Reddit posts. I wouldn't doubt that 2 b 2 t admins patrol chat at certain times, and when they see someone being toxic or spamming, they give out a random mute duration. This would explain why some players are muted for months, while others are only muted for days or weeks. So why is Housemaster going all out of his way to mute players? Before late 2019, players could freely be toxic, spam, or advertise. This is likely due to the server becoming more mainstream. Once people were stuck inside during lockdown, a surge of new players joined 2B2T. To keep these players on the server, perhaps the group that runs 2B2T knew that if they allowed the chat to be filled with toxicity and spam, it would make the new players leave or try to report 2B2T to Mojang. The fact that most 2B2T players are young, which I believe to be a problem in itself, is another Another reason I believe Housemaster is acting this way. Housemaster may be attempting to make chat more kid friendly to prevent young players from being exposed to harmful viewpoints or harassed by older players. Again, 2B2T is run as a business and to get the maximum profit, you need to make the environment as diverse as possible. So how could Housemaster fix this? Well, they need to add a simple plugin that shows the duration and cause of the mute. This would solve the confusion. The only downside for Housemaster will be the influx of players appealing their mute. Housemaster already has a problem with communication, and when players question being muted on the subreddit, their post gets censored. But if multiple people run 2B2T, couldn't you just have 2-3 to three people dedicated to responding to emails? Another thing to add is to have an actual list of rules for the chat. If you want to mute players for being offensive, spamming, or advertising, would it not make sense to have a dedicated reddit post for this? People could argue that if Housemaster does make an actual list, would 2 b 2 t be considered anarchy? Well, he's already doing it secretly, so why not just make a public list? These are only two solutions to this problem I can think of at the top of my head, and I truly don't know why Housemaster hasn't implemented anything to help with the confusion. Players from the post-Rusher and Anthenum era have left for a reason. They saw 2B2T as a place where they could do whatever they wanted and freely vent their rage, frustration, or trolling. But now, with so much moderation, this is no longer possible. Maybe this is going too conspiracy theorist, but if this continues, I wouldn't doubt that 2B2T will eventually be moderated similarly to a Hypixel server or something similar, albeit it could take a few years. What will prevent Housemaster from introducing additional moderating in the future if the player base supports or doesn't even know the existing rules? Players need to keep talking about the issues of the server, and if we don't, it will never change. But what do you think? Do you believe Housemaster is justified in moderating the server? Are the current rules too much or less? Or should it go back to less moderation?